Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8 and Season 9. So we have some big breaking news to talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so at the start of the video, we're going to be talking about some new news in regards to Season 9 of The Flash, because Grant Gustin is finalizing a new deal to star in season 9 so pretty much confirming yeah we're gonna get another season of The Flash which will make it the longest running series in the Arrowverse. In the back half of the video this is a video I recorded just yesterday but it's a bit late so we're gonna include it and it's gonna be to do with the new trailer so it's gonna be like split into two parts this video but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the news. So this is coming from Deadline. They are reporting that The Flash and Grant Gustin may continue over into season nine. So this is how the article goes. The CW's flagship DC series, The Flash is headed to a ninth season. Star Grant Gustin is finalizing a new contract to return as the title character in the hit show, sources revealed. I hear the pact Gustin has agreed to is for one year, Although a multi-year offer was on the table, according to new sources, the new contract comes with a sizable raise for the actor whose salary is believed to be north of $200,000 an episode, and also he has capped his involvement in season 9 at 15 episodes next season. And with Gustin involved and on board, The Flash is expected to be renewed for season 9 by the CW and become the longest running Arrowverse series on the network, eclipsing anchor show Arrow which ended its run after eight seasons it could very well be the Flash's final chapter. Now let's talk about all of this so it's amazing news that Grant is in talks to renew his contract for season 9 and it's not a big shock that he is trying to go for a one year salary deal because that's what he did in season 8. And most stars of big shows actually do this later down the line because, you know, at first they set like a contract for 7 seasons, say if it's really popular at the start, and then after that it's a kind of year by year basis where the star can get a big raise every time and even the other actors who are the leading members of the show, they get big raises and so it's more worth it for them to actually organize it year by year rather than say signing for three years although maybe the CW wants that and you know Warner Brothers wants that because you know maybe they could get away with saying look we're gonna give you this much for this many years but this way there's more flexibility in terms of salaries but it's great season 9 is happening I really didn't have any doubts that it would happen it could be the final season who knows it all really depends on Grant and if he wants to come back and I thought I would read out a quote from Grant recently because I think it will give you a lot of optimism. So he says this, Listen, I may never have a job this cool again that this many people actually tune in to watch, so I'm not going to take it for granted. So that kind of gives you the gist of where he's at. Also, you have to realize that he's just become a dad last year, so obviously he doesn't want to be involved in that much filming and like the number of 15 episodes for the season a lot of people were querying that online because they were like, oh crap, is The Flash only going to be 15 episodes? You have to remember last season the show was only 18 episodes and Grant showed up in 16 of them. So it's not like a big change, like it would be like one less episode where it will be a filler episode, it will be like mainly focused around some of the other characters and they'll get their time to shine. So I don't think it's the biggest deal because for the last couple of seasons they've been doing that like Iris goes off for a while or Barry goes off for like one episode then he comes back next and then maybe like five episodes down the line he doesn't show up for one episode. So it's not really a big deal, I think we'll still get 18 episodes or somewhere around that, maybe 17 because it still is going to work because it's worked before. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts and opinions on Grant renewing, super excited. Season 9 is pretty much going to be confirmed if they finalize this deal and it seems they're very close, otherwise it wouldn't be reported. And it's also great that The Flash is the longest running show in the CW because it is like the OG show. Yeah, it's not Arrow, but it's the most popular show on the network, so surely they're going to try and get to those high numbers. I would love for them to beat Supernatural numbers, but we'll have to wait and see. That is probably a big pipe dream of mine. But for now, super excited about all of this, and hopefully you guys enjoy 
the rest of this video, which is going to start right now. Okay, so we're going to be breaking down this trailer. I'm very excited because, as I mentioned, I wasn't expecting it this soon. And this trailer does give us some insight into some things that we've been looking forward to, but we hadn't necessarily got a first look yet. Like, there is a new character we're going to be talking about who was recently announced, but... I didn't realize she would come that early. There is also a chance that maybe there is like a couple of episodes spliced into this trailer. So it's not just like this one specific episode. So, you know, there is lots of different things that we need to break down. And I think the first shot is very interesting, which we'll go into right now. So the first shot of the trailer is of this. This is set in the future. And at first I thought, hmm. This looks like a shot we've seen before. Obviously, we have seen the Future Flash Museum, and I have to emphasize, this is the Future Flash Museum, so we are going to the future with Bart and Nora after they come back from the present day, because it does seem like we'll pick up pretty much in a flashback straight away where we left last season. So that's where you have them all in the family, and it's just after Bart has sang to them, and then they run to the future, and that's where we pick up with them. And we see what they've been doing in the meantime because we've had references to Bart and Nora running back and forth throughout time. Kind of mishappily doing that, like not really taking that much care. And it's surprising that Barry hasn't realized how dangerous it is with them consistently running back and forth throughout time. Anyway, so in this shot, we see Nora run into the Flash Museum and presumably Bart as well. And it's very, very interesting because... If you check this out, this is not old footage. Yes, they may have repurposed it, but if they repurposed it and added brand new lighting into the scene with VFX, they could have easily changed the Flash logo. And so, looking at the Flash logo here on the statue and on the signs, it's a red Flash logo. Now, yeah, it could just be an oversight on their behalf. However, this could mean that maybe Barry at some point is going to change his logo back to the red emblem potentially when he gets to this point in the future right when the flash museum is built maybe it's built like this and at that point he has the red emblem again i personally would like to see that red emblem because i think it was awesome back when we had it and yes the white was like a nice change of pace at the time but we've had the white one since then so why not change it up i don't know if this is actually going to happen or not but it's exciting to kind of think about it Okay, so let's move on from here. So we have Bart, and he is meeting this mystery girl. Now, I'm not entirely sure who she is. My first instinct was that this is, in fact, the new Legion of Superheroes character we're going to be seeing on the show, Tinya Wizzo, and she's been played by Mika Abdullah. However, this actor is definitely not playing that character. This is not Mika, or Micah. This is, in fact, someone completely different, and it's interesting because it seems this person is going to have some sort of relevance to Bart and Nora's story because she is from the future and she's in present day. Maybe it's a repercussion of what they've been doing with their time traveling and somehow they've dragged this person back in time. So my instinct about it being that character from the Legion of Superheroes was because, you know, we are set to have a person who could potentially have ties to the future or even be from the future like she is in the comics. However, if you remember the description when they released the information about her debut and her coming onto the show, they said that Iris is going to be investigating her, and I don't think she would investigate someone who is, say, friends or sort of acquaintances with her children. So I think it's someone brand new and someone different, and I have no good guesses as to who she is, the person on the screen right here, and I don't know the actor's name as well, if any of you guys can find out, let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. However, I'm excited to see who this is, if she has a significant role in the show. I'm going to guess she's not going to have a significant role. I think she'll be in this one episode, and she'll be one of the repercussions of their time-traveling adventures. And so, in the next shot, we get Bart. After she reveals, you know, she's from the future, he's like no way me too and he gets all excited and everything and you know Nora's like what the hell are you doing Bart and yeah so that's a big deal and obviously Bart needs to learn to be way more careful when he's in the present day 
And obviously this isn't going to be like a huge deal considering that this person is from the future as well. He still needs to take a lesson on from whatever happens in this episode and he definitely is and Nora definitely is because they've realized oh crap the timeline's changed and it's in flux. What have we done? Like we shouldn't have done this in the first place and surely they're going to have that realization in this episode and they will be much more careful in the future similar to Barry right now and like Barry said for a long time you know only time travel when it's absolutely necessary like to stop Armageddon for instance that was absolutely necessary however what they've been doing is just adventuring around and you know that is extremely dangerous because they don't have one real intention apart from having fun and maybe going on a vacation I guess but let's move on from here so the next shot is them and they run into Star Labs. This looks like the present day because this isn't looking like the Flash Museum. So it seems that they come back in the past. Well, you know, in our future. So after they've gone back. And I don't know if they're greeting anyone here. But their facial reactions seem to tease that there is someone else in the room. Let's move on from here. Now this is to do with one of the villains who's going to be showing up. And it's a recurring villain who has appeared in the past. I don't know how much of a big deal he's going to be. I think he's just going to be a one episode and it's going to be one and done. Seems like Eric Wallace is a fan of at least the actor and also the character, considering that he's bringing him back when he is one of the most memeable characters on the show and everyone hates him. I mean, I don't think it's his fault. Like, I don't blame the actor, but it's just the character is completely stupid. Like, I really hated that episode with Amunet Black and... Most people agree that that is one of the worst episodes on The Flash. So these scenes take place in CCPD and there is some sort of like detector on the ground like maybe a smoke detector which has fallen off. I don't know exactly what it is, I can't really make it out. Anyway, something smashed, right? And it's glowing red so it's a warning sign, right? Well that returning figure is in fact Goldface who you can see here standing in CCPD for some reason they go there they hold up the place I don't know what they specifically want is he trying to break his friend out is that the main reason or are they here to steal something or attack police officers doesn't seem that they are that desperate to like attack and kill people because they would have killed them they are here for some sort of a specific reason it seems and in regards to Kramer we have Kramer returning in this episode and she is here talking to Barry as he pleads to her about seemingly about what they're about to do. And we'll get back to that in a minute because there's a future shot that we will talk about. And then also we get the next shot of Goldface and he's sitting down. Like I said, he's basically held the whole station captive. I reckon there's not that many people in. Seems very, very empty unless he's like stack them up against a wall or something outside and that's why you're seeing no one in the background but he's here he's holding his chains and the chains are around this officer's neck so at least one or two people are going to get hurt don't know if he's going to kill them it's very possible that he will however he likes to toy with his victims first before he does anything but he's holding her captive to get what he wants okay so he has an accomplice this is a new thing obviously the last partnership he had was with Amunet Black, that obviously ended. So this new guy is here, I don't know if he was just broken out of his jail cell or something. It's actually possible that he came in with Goldface, only considering the fact that they are still here and they haven't left. If it was his intention to just break his friend out, they would have ran away straight away, but it seems they have got something greater planned, as I keep on mentioning. So they toy around and they have some fun. There is one line about, you know, him just, you know, stopping the countdown and just kill them. Like, why not? He says in a joking manner. Obviously, I'm paraphrasing here. But let's move on from this shot to the next scene. And again, this is in the speed lab. So it's set in the future. It looks a little bit different. And this is just Bart and Nora. And you get a different angle of it. So they're in the Hall of Heroes. Actually, not the speed room. But, you know, it's kind of similar. It does have the treadmill behind them. Give me a break. I'm only joking, guys. Anyway, let's move on from that. I don't know what the hell I was talking about. So they're here doing some research on the timeline changes. And they're going to see the differences that they've made. Because this is their number one way of seeing 
how everything has changed because they have been here many times and I'm sure they remember all the articles because they probably flicked through it a bunch of times to try and get information about, you know, the past and the dads because this is the Hall of the Flash, you know, it's the Flash Museum. So, yeah, they're definitely checking up on the timeline changes in this scene. We get the same ending teaser that we got at the end of episode 5 of Armageddon. And this is a photo of CCPD and their officers as they take their staff photo. And you can see that the big change here is that Bart and Nora appear. And I think it's funny that they include the lightning because, you know, technically this wouldn't happen. And this is just them overemphasizing it. However, I do think it looks cool. And this is an example of them going around time and just absolutely messing with things in a mischievous and fun way like in a charming way that is very naive and you know they don't mean any harm but by doing that they're going to cause harm and so this is just one piece of evidence to show the damage that they have begun to cause okay so eddie is back in this episode very exciting we're going to be time traveling back to the past at least for episode six i don't know if they're going to continue the time traveling story past then but you would presume so because it has such big effects on the future of the show and of the characters and of the story and you know the villains it would make sense that they would continue the timeline change kind of storyline that they've got going on here and maybe Eddie plays into the bigger picture. Lots of us have theorized that maybe Eddie's return could be him becoming someone else, becoming Cobalt Blue. Now, I'm not 100% sold on that, only because I don't believe Rick Cosnett actually stayed up there very long. There is always a chance he could be a villain in the back half of the season, or maybe it sets it up for a future season and future returns for Rick. But right now, I'm not going to place my bets on that, and I wouldn't recommend placing bets on that for you guys as well. So, again, like the last trailer we got after episode 5 of Armageddon Ed, we have Bart and Nora as they go back to Barry's lab. And, in fact, this is not in the future, this is not in the present day, this is presumably in the past, because you can see the mark on the wall of the lightning, and it looks pretty fresh. So, I'm going to hazard the guess, and I'm not 100% sure but anyway I believe this is in fact just after or at least like a week after Barry has been struck by lightning and so they go check out the scene because they're interested and at this point it doesn't seem that they realize their repercussions but by being there potentially they've contaminated some things but it seems this is going to be a big moment for them because they can actually go and explore Barry's lab in the past and be there literally just after he'd been struck by lightning. The next frame is of Barry and he puts his mask on obviously tapping his earpiece which he's done in the last couple of seasons. It's very cool and I like the shot. I don't know if this happened in the past it could be a shot from a past trailer. I can't be 100% certain on that because I don't actually remember. I do not have the best memory, guys. Just saying. So it's always nice when you guys send in reminders, sometimes in the comments or on live streams. And talking about live streams, I have to remind you guys, this week we are going to be live streaming. So don't worry about that. We are back to a normal schedule. And I'm very excited to get back to the live streams. We've had about a two-week break because I was on vacation in LA. Okay, let's get back to today's topic. So back to the trailer, we have Barry and Joe, and Joe gives him a little speech, and this is basically a little pep talk where Joe talks about what Barry's been through and how it makes him believe in things that other people wouldn't believe. And that's a special quality that is unique to Barry, and obviously some other people as well, but on the show it's unique to him. And it seems Barry is asking the team to do a lot more than they are kind of willing to or realize that they would ever go to. And so this is with Frost and she says, you're asking us to believe in something impossible. And by the look of her face, she's quite shocked by what Barry is asking. And it seems the same kind of thematic thread line continues in the next shot as Barry's at CCPD presumably during the Goldface takeover and he's here with Kristen Kramer and Kristen says do you have a death wish so Barry's definitely come up with some wild idea and I'm looking forward to seeing what it is 
but it's something about the way that they should take down the villains. That is my theory as of right now, although I can't be 100% sure, so don't take my word on that. Okay, so back presumably in the past, and Bart and Nora are at some sort of event, some sort of venue, and they are fully suited up in their XS and Impulse suits. It's great to see them suited up once again, like we saw earlier in the trailer. And they are here, and I don't know specifically what they're trying to do, but Nora gives one specific line that I thought rang very true. Well, actually, she does say it later in the trailer, but I'm just going to read it out here because I kind of wanted to talk about this. So she says, remember what dad always says, no matter how fast you run, life is about the journey. I really like this line. I think it very much so hits what it is meaning to it, and I don't think it's that cringy at all. I think it's actually a pretty good line, and it's similar to, you know, the Spider-Man line of with great power comes great responsibility. So I really do like that, and the fact that Barry, when he's older, he has that sort of catchphrase, or he has a catchphrase about, you know, the way that he looks at being a superhero and about living life in this sort of unique way, but also at the same time being a human and exploring. And obviously it's great that they've been exploring the timeline and everything and getting to know time travel better and their powers better. But at the same time, big mistake guys, big mistake. Okay, so let's move on from Bart and Nora. We're at CCPD. Seems that this episode, at least episode 6, for the gold face part of the episode, it's going to be a bit comical. As I presume this is in the episode because it looks like a similar lighting setup. Although I can't be 100% sure if this is from the past. I do recognize it slightly, but I think that was like an old photo of Grant where he's doing a similar pose. But anyway, so he's here, he kind of gets congratulated by the members of the CCPD, and he's just happy. I guess maybe he's taken down Goldface, that is my bet as of right now. Now we go back to a flashback. Well, it's in fact not a flashback because it's a time travel back. I don't know how to call it. Anyway, we're going back in time. And so we have Joe, he is a cop again. Remember, he retired last season, so this is definitely in the past. And according to reports that Nora and Bart see in the previous trailer, Joe is in fact shot around this time in 2013, I believe, in a jewelry store heist that goes wrong. And so that is a change in the timeline. That is one notable point that they're going to go back to to try and help Joe. I don't know if it's going to be detrimental to Joe. Like, is he going to die or something? We'll have to wait and see, but I'm pretty sure in the scene, because remember, Eddie was his partner in the past, you're going to see Eddie out there, and I think there were some set photos that were released from that day, but let's move on from here. We have Bart and Nora, and they are talking together. Bart's still got his bow tie on, and you know, they've got similar clothes, but it's later on in the evening, and Nora gives the advice that I mentioned. Let's repeat it one more time for you guys. So Barry always says, in the future, no matter how fast you run, life is about the journey. And maybe that is in fact their justification for being adventurous and going on this journey throughout time. However, I guess that's not the sole meaning. Like, you can't disregard everything. There is rules and there is things you have to abide by. And one of the big rules, obviously, in the world of The Flash and in the multiverse is don't mess with the timeline. Don't time travel unless you absolutely need it and you know you're going to barely change anything so we're gonna get a couple of flashbacks obviously and we're gonna go back in the past i think this is maybe a flashback but also maybe a recreation where they're using some old footage because sadly the young actor right here on the screen who played young barry allen in the first couple of seasons of the flash sadly passed away about a year ago that was logan williams and you know that was a big deal when it happened and it's such a shame he was so young but it's really nice to see him featured once again on The Flash. And hopefully this is, you know, a new scene. But, you know, they're going to use older footage. So this is him on the night of Nora Allen's murder. And so it's going to be some shocking stuff for Barry if he goes back to that point. But I presume this is from Nora and Bart's perspective. Because as far as we know, I don't know if Barry's going to actually go back in time. But at some point, surely he will. That's just my guess as of right now. And the final shot of the trailer that I wanted to break down was this shot. Nothing special, but it's Barry outside and it looks like quite a different location 
from anything else I saw in the trailer. Like, I don't think there's any shots of Barry out in the sunlight and, you know, fully suited up and everything. So, it could be from another episode and I'm pretty sure, like I said earlier, there's going to be at least like two episodes of footage that we've seen in this trailer. But that about does it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.